Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see the follow-up of iOS 15.3. Apple have released it almost a week before and recently I have conducted a poll in my another channel and 313 people have responded to it. People who are using from iPhone SE 4th generation to, uh, you know, up to the latest iPhone 13 Pro Max models. So I have collected individual iPhone model specific uh, feedbacks as well in order to know the battery performance and any other issues they are facing after the iOS 15.3 update. If you have not updated to the latest 15.3 version, then you can decide based on the user's feedback. And if you have updated and you are facing some problems, like as I mentioned in the title, fast battery drain, call drop, or any apps crash related issues, then the troubleshooting tutorial videos already provided in the first comment, I have pinned it. So you can simply navigate to the tutorial and you know fix that specific problem. Some users after updating their uh, iPhone to the latest version, they face that sort of problems, very minimal number of users. You don't have to worry that every single iOS update will, you know, kind of give problem to your iPhone or iPad. Also, I have given timeline in the description so that if you are bored or if you don't want any part of the video, you can skip that specific part by navigating uh, directly to the, you know, contents that you actually need. So from the polls, you can see the iPhone SE first generation, two users have said it is good and same performance said by three users and the next one is iPhone SE 2020 model three users have said it is working good after the update and one user have said it is bad it is not working good and seven users have said same performance and for iPhone 6s six people have said it is good same performance two people and one person have said it is bad for iPhone 6s plus one user have said it is good and one user have said it is same performance for iPhone 7 three users have said it is working good one user have said it is bad and same performance said by two people. For iPhone 7 Plus, one user have said it is good and one uh, said it is uh, same performance. The same applies for the iPhone 8. For iPhone 8 Plus, one user have said good and one user have said it is bad. For iPhone 10, three users have said it is good, one user have said it is bad and same performance by three people. For iPhone 10R, 10 users have said it is good, same performance, 16 people and nine users have said it is bad. And for iPhone 10S, two people have said it is bad, same performance, four people. No one have mentioned whether it is good or not. And iPhone 10s Max, two people have said it is good and two people have said it is same performance. For iPhone 11, 22 people have said it is good iOS 15.3 is running absolutely fine. 31 people have said it is same performance just like the previous iOS 15.2 or 2.1, I think. And six people have said it is bad. For iPhone 11 Pro, one user have said good and same performance, three people. iPhone 11 Pro Max, four users have said same performance, three have said it is bad and three have said it is good. For iPhone 12, you can see 19 people have said it is good, same performance by 22 users and three users have said it is bad. iPhone 12 mini, seven users have voted it as good and for 15 users have said same performance and uh, three people have said it is bad for the iPhone 12 Pro six people have said it is good six people have said same performance and one people have said it is bad for iPhone 12 Pro Max three people have said it is good four people have said it is bad and three people have said same performance for iPhone 13 10 people have voted as good and 10 people have said same performance and three people have said it is bad 13 mini two people have said it is good and same performance and three people have said it is bad for 13 Pro, five people have said same performance and six people have said it is good. For 13 Pro Max, 11 people have said it is good and same performance, 10 people. And then one have voted it as bad performance after updating to the 15.3 version. So here from the comments, from the actual feedback of the users, I have also asked them to mention the battery health if they are facing any problems related to the battery so that I can suggest some troubleshooting steps. So the very first thing that, you know, uh, let me quickly go through this comment section because most of them have written it in uh, Tamil language which uh, the another channel that I am running and majority of them have said the latest 15.3 is quite good but three common issues I I'm able to figure out from the comment section is number one fast battery drain you have to do is performing an all settings reset 
just monitor for next two to three days and if the same fast battery drain happens then you have to check the battery statistics for applications that is consuming more battery we have already done a video about instagram application consuming more battery and how you can fix it so refer that video from the first comment i'll leave a link to that so that you know if you are using facebook instagram or youtube it is important to reinstall the application and then see how the battery performance goes for the next three to four days also it is important to use a network you know uh, the mobile carrier uh, that gives good coverage in your area if your signal reception is like one point or two point then for the network search you know the battery consumption happens a little bit higher than what normally happens when the network signal reception is full so make sure in the area that you mostly stay in either office or home you are using a proper a mobile carrier that gives a good signal reception in your area that is important monitor for a week and if you are facing the same battery related fast draining problem check your battery health whether it is around 80 percent if it is close to 80 82 83 percentage then it is recommended to visit the apple service center and get the battery alone changed because normally the lifetime of the iphone battery as per my understanding is two years to maximum three years 2.5 years is kind of an average time that many people are getting it once it reaches 80 percent battery health we need to change it from the apple service center so that for another two years to two and a half years to three years we will be able to use at peak performance if the battery health is good you can take a complete backup of your iphone with the help of itunes and perform an ios restore i'll also leave a tutorial in the first comment so that you can refer and do it yourself and the next common problem that very minimal number of users have reported after updating to 15.3 is apps crash so in such cases make sure that your iphone has enough free storage and second thing check your app store for any pending updates if there are any updates pending for applications then connect your iphone to wi-fi and update all the applications and then check whether the application is force closing or crashing or not another important thing is if the crash happens with only certain application then make sure you have disabled any third party keyboards if for example some applications may not work with swipe keyboard or gboard and uh, any other than the stock keyboard uh, that iphone comes with so in such cases temporarily you need to disable the keyboard till the app developer fixes the problem other than that if you're using the stock keyboard and still the uh, specific application is crashing uh, frequently when you try to open it after the update of 15.3 then it is important to try app offloading method i'll also provide the video tutorial in the uh, first comment i'll pin the comment so that you can easily find it and the last problem that i have noticed after the update some minimal number of users have said is call dropping issue it cannot be just the ios 15.3 specific issue if it is a software related problem then all you need to do to fix the problem is go to settings general reset or transfer at the end of the page and you will see the pop-up that shows different reset options from there you have to select reset and network settings so once you performed the network reset any software related problems will be fixed after this reset another important thing is if you're using a very old sim card other than eSIM, you know if you're using a very old sim card visiting the mobile carrier showroom and then getting a new sim card for the same number will also help fixing any call drop or poor signal reception related problems and the last important thing related to the call drop is in some areas just for two or three days for me in india it happens at times for any network you know for very limited time for some maintenance reasons or if there is any network congestion temporarily i'll face call drop after two or three days it automatically gets fixed but still if you want to give it a shot you can try the previously mentioned software related resets in order to you know fix any software related bugs that is causing the network related call drops and problems so once again from the feedbacks given by the user you can clearly see that the latest 15.3 update is superb same performance for battery and battery health and it is better battery performance good fine you know no changes so mostly we are seeing positive feedback uh, after the update so you, uh, my suggestion is you can uh, of course update to your iphone even for the older models there are no much compliance just make sure to verify that battery health part then rest will be good i hope this video helped you to make a decision to update the ios 15.3 uh, software on your iphone or ipad at the same time to fix any problems that you face after the update thank you for watching and for more useful tips and tricks related to apple products don't forget to subscribe to our channel have a wonderful day